The first 20 minutes are complete. Gideon to the alley, gets low, step through, up, and good! Gideon George! The second half is about to begin. Rudy right side, jumps into the paint, little late footer, short, offensive rebound again, and score by Rudy! This is BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU down five as we start half number two. Gonzaga 44 and BYU 39. Interesting side note from the first half, Mark. Gonzaga's starting backcourt was scoreless. Roger <laughs> Bolton and Nolan Hickman combined for 20 points a game. They had nothing in the first 20 minutes. Yeah, and why why do you need them to score when you had Timmy and Watson and Greg? They were pretty dominant, but, uh, you know, I think I think those guys are just kind of biding their time. The most scary thing about a Gonzaga player is when they're really quiet because then they just go off on you. Have to be mindful of everybody on that team. Second half of BYU basketball. It's brought to you in part by Big O Tires. Go to BigOtires.com and make an appointment at one of 50 locally owned and operated Utah locations. Big O Tires, the team you trust. All right, half number two, about to get underway. Gonzaga will start the second half with the ball and go right to left as we see it and you hear it. BYU coming left to right here in half number two. Sold out Marriott Center. The new capacity for this building now is 17,900. And 78. The capacity coming down with the inclusion of theater style chair seats on the south side of the building, upper concourse. Here we go. Gonzaga front court, Bolton. Again, scoreless in the first half. Possesses the ball, holds it his belt here early in half number two. Gives to Timmy. Timmy back to Bolton, now right wing Watson. Watson got off to such a great start for the Zags. Bolton enters it to Timmy. Timmy will square, face, and score. Timmy with 12, and Gonzaga's lead 7, 46-39. Big shot. Foose was sagging on the cutters, and Timmy said, if you're going to leave me open, I'll hit it. Dallin Hall between the circles, starts to his left. Bolton gives him six feet, straight away Johnson. Johnson runs Strother into a Foose screen. Foose rolls low. Johnson takes it low himself, and under some contact, squeezes up a shot that's missed and rebounded by Timmy. Timmy. To Hickman, front court right side. Hickman straight away, Timmy. Timmy bounces once, terminates, looks to his right and gives to Bolton. Bolton to the left wing, dribbles into a three, spins it out, rebound. Zags, Strother. Near the timeline, back to Bolton, left wing. Another offensive rebound for Gonzaga. That's now 8-2 on the offensive glass in the Zags' favor. Left wing, Watson down to a five-second shot clock. Watson moves down the lane. Will turn it around, jump shot from 10 feet. No, rebound Foose. Foose outlet, Dallin Hall. BYU down 7, 46-39. Gideon George takes a hit from Watson on his drive from the right side. So Watson has his second, and the Zags have their first of the second half for 90 seconds in. BYU basketball brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen have been helping Utah families for over 30 years. Even though eight offensive rebounds for Gonzaga, only six second chance points, so they really haven't taken advantage of that. Dallin Hall straight away. Jackson Robinson pull, fire, and score for three. It's another Mountain America Credit Union three pointer for BYU. And the Cougs have their sixth three of the night, six of ten from deep, four point game, 46 42. Runner missed by Bolton. Rebound out to Timmy. Passes left corner. Hickman. Hickman. Teardrop. Heavy. Rebound BYU. Good sequence for the Cougars defensively there. Down floor Robinson. Robinson. Trailer. Johnson. Now left wing Gideon George. Gideon on the arc. Drops it low to Foose, but a turnover on the pass. Bolton splits defenders. Veers left. Terminates arc. Left corner. Hickman. Now Bolton left wing. Bolton, left elbow. Bolton, left block. Stops baseline up to Hickman. Three-point range left. Now straight away, Watson. Low, Timmy. Timmy, short off the window. Good contest by Foos. Rebound to Gideon. BYU's down four still. 46-42. We're early in half number two. Two and a half minutes gone here at the Marriott Center. He tried to go quick. Foos was ready. I think got a piece of that one. Arking. Entry to Foos just inside the three-point line. Gideon George straight away for three. Glances off the rim. And is collected on a rebound by Strother. BYU now 6 for 11 from 3. Bolton. Stripe extended right side. Now wing right into a 3. Strother missing from deep. Rebound BYU. And then Timmy fouled in backcourt. Yeah, Dallin got the rebound. Timmy took a swipe at it. So that's 2 on Gonzaga. 1 on Timmy. And we're 3 minutes into half number 2. BYU hanging around. 
The Zags over the last six from the field, and they've gone scoreless in 236. Dallin Hall past the timeline. Slow bounce for the BYU point guard. Bounce pass to George. Stripe extended right side. Now Johnson cycles to Hall. Angle left. Hall. In the foose. Out to Dallin. Ball fake. Drive. Finger roll. Off the rim. No. Rebound Gonzaga. Nolan Hickman comes away with it. Leading to Bolton who leaks. Bolton runs to the other side of the rim. Blocked by Gideon. Ball out of bounds. Loose ball and off of Gonzaga. BYU basketball the other way. Not sure what Bolton was doing there. He made that yeah. a lot more difficult than it needed to be on the breakaway. He really was overdid the shielding his the, bo- the defender with his body and made it so it was a really difficult shot. I think he could have just gone and laid it up quite easily. Cougs will take that break. Thank you very much. 46-42. Zags still up four. And the Zags scoreless drought is more than three minutes now. That's an unusual thing for Gonzaga to have these kinds of droughts. And they have one right now going here at the Marriott Center. Can BYU make the Zags pay the high hedge on Robinson? He'll go left wing to Spencer Johnson. Or make it Dallin Hall, beg your pardon. Drift pass cut off. It's a turnover for BYU. Watson front court. Bolton top of the key. BYU 11 giveaways on this night. Bolton. Drops it downstairs to Timmy. Timmy, right hand over the left shoulder. No, strong. Rebound to Foose. Traore with seven rebounds to go with five points. BYU front court still down four. The Zags scoreless drought nearly four minutes. Johnson, ball fakes it, goes to the right elbow, gets down to the left block, blocked at the rim by Strother, and the Zags come the other way. Cross court, Bolton left side. Bolton high bounce. Bolton down the lane. Bolton to the rim. Up and no, but he's fouled by Hall. He'll get two free throws after this. 15-40 to play here in Provo. The Zags lead stays four. And their scoreless drought of four minutes may end after this. It'll be the Zag shooting two after this break on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. There's nothing like fine craftsmanship. That's why I use my voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. BYU fans, home is where you get to do your thing. And whatever your thing is, it's better without bugs. For guaranteed year-round pest protection, visit SalaPest.com. That's S-A-E-L-A, Pest.com. BYU down 46 to 42. Drew Timmy scored early in half number two, but the Zags haven't scored since. Four minutes without a point yeah. as they've gone over the last eight from the field. That's the good news, but the bad news is BYU <laughs> scoreless droughts nearly three minutes. After that, after that high scoring first half, we've played four over four minutes since three to two in favor of BYU. <laughs> so as we come back in, it'll be free throws. Dallin Hall. Fouled before the uh, timeout. And that was Dallin's third, so a little foul trouble for Dallin. BYU's first team foul of half number two. The Zags with two team fouls. Gonzaga, the preseason pick to win the WCC. No surprise there because they've been the preseason pick to win the WCC in 21 of the last 22 seasons. And they've won 10 they've consecutive won. WCC regular season titles, the longest current streak nationally. And the main reason they win all these titles is they never lose to anyone but St. Mary's or BYU. Free throw good by Rajir Bolton. Bolton has his first point of the night. Averaging 11.3, scoreless until that moment, but he has a free throw. And we'll get a second. He's an 84% free throw shooter. Hickman as well, scoreless. Makes them both. So he's 38 for 45 at the free throw line this season. Played all 40 minutes. At Santa Clara in their Zags last game. BYU's point guard now is Rudy Williams as Dallin Hall takes a seat. Rudy up top. And Rudy, two points tonight. Rudy left wing, left corner, Gideon for three. No. Spencer Johnson went high for the rebound, was out out left for it. The deflection to Hickman. Hickman down floor and his pass is turned over, but tapped out of bounds, they say. So it was a long ball for Malachi Smith and fingertips... Got to it before Smith, and so it'll be out of bounds off of BYU. So Gonzaga stays in possession with a 26-second shot clock. 440 gone here in half number two. Posty, Tim, uh, Timmy posting up from the left. Knocked away from Timmy. Nearly his fifth turnover. Strother comes away with it on the floor. Now he's tied up. Still no whistle, and the Cougars come away with it. The Cougars do get it after all that. Gideon George will drive and kick. Jackson Robinson, big three. He got it. Wow. BYU makes it a three-point game, 48-45 on a Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer. 
I can't believe there wasn't a jump. Somehow BYU gets it, and Jackson hits the three. And a turnover. Gonzaga's ninth giveaway, and the Cougs can get within one or tie. 48-45 Gonzaga. Here early in half number two, Timmy's going to have a seat. Ben Gregg will check in for the Zags. 14-45 to play here in Pobo. It's a one-possession game with the number eight team in the country in town. And the Cougs playing very well. 49% shooting for BYU, 47 now for Gonzaga. Three for three from, th- or three for five from Jackson from three. Jackson Robinson drive to the rim, and it falls off the iron. No, and Foos has the rebound, yanks it away. Loose ball foul or alternate possession. It's arrow. The jump ball will still go to BYU Cougs. Keep possession with 14.31 to play in a 20-second shot clock. 48-45, Gonzaga leading it. Gonzaga 0 for its last eight from the field. Jackson, As BYU's drawn to within three. Got to the rim there, just didn't go in, and Foos able to get at least a jump ball out of the rebound. Rudy Williams left open for three, won't take it. Jackson feeling Robinson it. will, and He's score! It. Jackson He's Robinson it. with his fourth three, and the Cougs tie the game! The Cougs have come back from down 10 to a 48-48 ball game. Julian Strother drive, lean back and miss at the rim. Put back is good by Ben Gregg. As he did in the first half, he comes in and gets a stick back to settle the Zags down. They had gone nearly six minutes without a field goal until the Greg, the Greg stick back. Gideon George takes a bump in the paint, puts it on the floor. Taken away by the Zags, Greg has it, looking for help and has it in Strother. Turnover. 50 to 48, Zags by two. Strother front court left side. Greg hard to the hole, lays it up and in with two hands. Ben Greg comes in and immediately makes an impact. He's got 10, averaging 4.8 and 52 to 48. Zaga four in a row after BYU tied the game at 48. 13 28 to play here in Provo. Rudy straight away, Spencer Johnson. Slip screen to Foos and turns it over. A bad pass on the base. They say that Gideon was out of bounds when he tried to save in. So it is turnover number 13 for BYU. Weird pass from Foos. Just drifted out of bounds. He's trying to draw a foul. Didn't get it. Had nowhere to go. Trying to go to the corner. And the ball bounced on the line. The official said the uh, the fans on the line are saying, no, no, that was not out of bounds. BYU would have saved it. 13-21 remaining. And BYU down four, 52 to 48. Gonzaga's large lead's been 10. BYU's large lead's been six. A replay shows it was not out of bounds. Salas right side, top side Greg, handoff Bolton. Bolton pounds it outside the three point line. Right side Anton Watson on the Marriott Center logo. Sizes up Waterman, takes him to the rim. Missed the shot off the iron, rebound. Rudy Williams down floor. Spencer Johnson lobs it up to Jackson. Jackson comes down with it. Passes right corner. Now right wing Spencer for three. Got it. Spencer Johnson and BYU with nine. Mountain America threes. Nine for 15 from deep. Timeout called by Gonzaga. And we'll take it to 12.47 to go as BYU draws to within one on the Spencer Johnson three. For Spencer, that's 13. He and Jackson Robinson lead the Cougs 13 apiece. And they've combined... To make six threes on the night. BYU down one. It's Zags 52, Cougs 51. 12.47 to play on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU basketball built, built, uh, brought to you in part by Fillmore Spencer. Fillmore Spencer, Utah County's favorite local law firm, can play offense, defense, or provide a little coaching. Fillmore Spencer, solving problems and seizing opportunities for you, your family, and your business. Fillmore Spencer, attorneys at law. BYU within one, 52 to 51 of the eighth ranked team in the country, the Gonzaga Bulldogs. BYU shooting a great number from deep tonight. Nine for 15 for 60%. Gonzaga shooting just two for 10 from the three point line for 20%. The three point shot is the slingshot for the Davids out there trying to beat the Goliaths. And so far, BYU pretty good aim with its slingshot. Jackson Robinson, four for six. They've been. Uh, Four for six in this second half has been BYU. All their points have come from the three-point line, and they're down one. BYU coming off a 68-48 win at San Diego on the weekend. By the way, San Diego, which scored 48 for the game, just scored 49 in the first half against Pepperdine tonight. Pepperdine in Provo on Saturday. Ben Gregg, three-point range for the Zags. Zags go right to left here and 
Half number two, Rajir Bolton takes a bump from Spencer Johnson, trying to save it in, and does on the steal. <laughs> Has to take the lead. That's our Palmer's Metal Arch steal of the game, and then BYU on a Ooh. long pass. He's it deflected out of bounds by Gonzaga. It'll stay BYU basketball. Steal of the game brought to you by Palmer's Metal Mart. Palmer's Metal Mart, your local metal supplier for over 26 years. Spencer Johnson with the steal of the game. And the Cougs have the basketball, can play for their first lead in a long time. BYU down 52-51. to 51. Rudy Williams step back, 18-footer. No, it's in and out. The rebound to Malachi Smith. Zags front court right side. Greg to the right corner. Hunter Salas, three-point range. Guarded by the taller Waterman. Waterman watches Salas to the right side. Pass goes base to Timmy, and we've got a whistle on the baseline. Non-shooting foul, Atiki Ali Atiki picks it up. It's the second foul, each team with two fouls, so the ref's letting them play a bit. 12.07 to play. Gonzaga inbounds into backcourt. Malachi Smith pass the timeline. Zags 52, BYU 51, the under 12-minute media timeout coming on the whistle. Smith blocked by Jackson Robinson beneath the basket, but it rebounds to Timmy. Timmy then sends it through the hands of Smith out of bounds. BYU basketball after this. 11.50 to play. And the Cougs can play for a lead after this. Gonzaga 52, BYU 51 on the new skit, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard for the scoreboard update. Conference scores to update you on. Four minutes in to go in the second half. St. Mary's on top of LMU 65-54. And at the break, San Diego up 10 over Pepperdine 49-39. The Waves in town on Saturday to face the Cougs. Back over to the Marriott Center alongside Mark Durant. Let's rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Jason, thank you. Under 12 to play, 11.50 on the clock, and BYU within one, 52 to 51. BYU's last lead came at 19 to 17 with 12.18 to play in the first half. And it will be BYU basketball as we come back in. Gonzaga, 11 turnovers now to BYU's 13, and the points off of turnovers are equal. BYU 13 to Gonzaga's 11. BYU's really turned up the defense. I mean, really impressive half of defense so far. Two of the last 13 for Gonzaga. And BYU gets another turnover there and a chance to take the lead. So Rudy Williams, front court left side. Jackson Robinson straight away. He's been hot. Jackson with four threes, one more. With ties, would set a new career high. Greg, Greg blocks Rudy on the drive and zags the other way. Stepping back is Hickman. Hickman on the right wing with a 20-second shot clock. Greg straight away, low to Timmy, and a whistle before the shot goes up. Defensive foul on BYU, guarding Timmy in the post. Waterman picks it up. It's the second foul away from the ball that. BYU trying to really be physical with Timmy and picked up two fouls. Off the inbound, Greg has a strip by Spencer Johnson. Another steal from Spencer. BYU plays for the lead. Rudy Williams right corner. Jackson won't take that three. Spencer will for the lead. Yes! Spencer Johnson gives the Cougs a two-point lead. 54-52, to 52, 11 even to go here in Provo. Dimmy. Missing short, offensive rebound, scoring on the stick back. Timmy with 14. Ties the game at 54. <laughs> this is a great basketball game. Both teams playing well. Timmy said, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm going to take nothing on this. I'm going to go right at the hoop and force a basket in. Spencer Johnson, three for three from three. BYU 10 threes. Rudy Williams, left wing Spencer. Spencer, dribble once, back to Williams between the circles. Eight second shot clock. Rudy to the left with five and with four drives down the lane stop turn around jumper yes Rudy Williams and the Cougs lead again 56 to 54 back and forth we go the Cougs have come back from down 10 to lead Hunter Salas shoving away Waterman and it's a foul called on Noah two on Waterman with 10 16 to play tough night for Waterman no points no boards couple fouls BYU had gone more than 20 minutes of game time without a lead. But they have it now. 56 to 54. The Cougs' game high lead's been six. Gonzaga's not lost a January game in five years. 
They've not lost to an unranked team in forever. 91 consecutive wins over unranked. <laughs> Pass picked off. Hickman tried to whip it down low, and Fusene Terreri was in the passing lane and stabs it out of the air. So on Gonzaga's 13th turnover, it's BYU basketball. Foos top of the key. Foos picks it up, gives it up to Rudy. Three-point range right. Williams into the paint. Rudy stop. Fall away. Got it again! He's heating up. Rudy makes it a four-point lead. 58-54. to Salas slow to Watson. Block! Gets it back and sticks it right back up and in. Anton Watson with his first bucket of the second half. He's got 16 on the night. BYU by two, and a pass picked off by the Zags this time. BYU turns it over, leading Watson. Blocked oh! by Foos! Foos and Itrari sends it back, and the Cougars come back the other way, and Rudy to Noah Waterman left wing. Rudy to the left block. Waterman left block. Out to Williams' left corner. Williams backs it out to the arc left side. BYU by two, 58-56. Drive, teardrop. Short this one out of bounds off of Gonzaga. It's BYU basketball, 9.08 to play. Wow, that looked like trouble. They got the turnover, and Fu said, no, 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 no. He sent that one right back to sender. Spencer Johnson will trigger. Jackson Robinson will re-enter. Spencer Johnson, 3 for 3 from deep. Jackson Robinson, 4 for 6 from deep. They have 7 of BYU's 10 threes, and BYU's shooting 63% from the three-point line. Under 10 to go. Rudy off the inbound. Outside the right elbow. Short pass to Foos. Give and go back to Rudy. Rudy, right wing Jackson for three. He oh! got it again! Jackson Robinson with his career high fifth three pointer. It's BYU by five, 61 to 56. That's Mr. Jackson if you're nasty, and he is nasty. Drew Timmy inside the three point line, right side. BYU 11 threes on the night. Timmy. Down the base, to the paint, up and no! Stick back, no, by Watson, but a loose ball foul on BYU. It'll be free throws. Fever pitch in Provo. Gideon George, the foul on George number three. And two free throws coming up to stem the tide here by Gonzaga. Zags trail by five, 61 to 56. The BYU game high lead has been six. 8.33 to go. Watson shooting into the rock, and he's only a 56% free throw shooter and he misses he's one for three tonight they gotta really box out because if he does miss it could be a long rebound will history repeat itself three years after a memorable win another free throw miss but another offensive rebound Strother resets it for the Zags 61-56 BYU leading it Strother, jump hook at the rim, missed it. Cougars come out of it with the rebound, no harm done. Down floor, Rudy. Rudy left side, BYU by five, 8.15 to go. Keep attacking, keep attacking. Rudy left Gideon, between the circles, Jackson. Robinson to Williams, stripe extended right side. Rudy to the free throw line. Oh, a beautiful no look to Spencer Johnson, <laughs> up and in. And the Cougs have a game high lead of seven. Timeout to Mark Few and Gonzaga. 63-56, BYU by seven for the first time tonight. And we're taking timeout. 7.58 to go here in Provo. Cougs lead it on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. 7.58 to play here at Provo's Marriott Center. BYU leading Gonzaga by 7, 63 to 56. Dinner after the game at JCW's includes something for everybody. From burgers to wings, shakes to salads, JCW's quality, and a lot of it. And Lehigh, American Fork, Provo, South Jordan, and Harriman. BYU in the second half is shooting 6 for 9 from deep. For the game, BYU 11 for 18, 61%. It's been a couple of years. It's been, well... Yeah, more than, more than a it's almost a couple of years since BYU shot 60% on threes in a game. It was against Weber State in December of 2021. So a little more than, I guess, a year. Not too long, but BYU shooting a great number right now, Mark. And the three is a big reason BYU has a seven-point lead, 63-56. That really have, has shot daggers from the three-point line. Jackson, Spencer, Rudy Williams has played well in this half. They're getting it done offensively and defensively. Gonzaga seems to say... Okay, we're, we're in trouble here, so let's just go into our big man, put your shoulder down, 
go to the rim and everybody crashed the board. So getting the boards uh, and had a couple putbacks, but overall BYU has been terrific defensively in this half. Gonzaga's been here before in tight games late. Yes. How about this? In in the five wins they have by single digits, they've outscored their opponents by 22 points in the final five minutes of those games. We've got 7.55 left in this game, and BYU by 7, 63-56. Nolan Hickman, left side. To Timmy up top, back to Hickman, left wing. Hickman will now drive it down the lane. Pass to Timmy right in front of the rim. Gets great position. And his jump hook oh, pops out. out. And the Tiki Alley and Tiki <laughs> on the rebound. Right at the rim. And how did that yeah. not go for Timmy? Rudy Williams changes speeds. Right wing George pull. Fire. You're Score! kidding me. For three. You're kidding Gideon me. George knocks down the triple. And the Cougs lead by 10. 66 to 56. <laughs> wow. Strother, the right wing, back to Timmy. Drops it downstairs to Timmy. Jump hook Missed is again. no good again. Spencer Johnson, the rebound to Rudy. BYU racing it down floor. Right wing, Gideon again. Oh, no. no, he's strong on this one. <laughs> and the rebound, Gonzaga, loose ball foul on BYU. That would have brought down the house. <laughs> that would have gone, wow. BYU 7 for 11 from 3 in the second half. 12 for 20 for the game. It's an 8-0 BYU run, 12-2 longer run. Zag scoreless in two and a half. It's BYU by 10. It's a double-digit lead with under seven minutes to go. Can the Cougs hang on? Will it be another magical night at the Marriott Center? Timmy up top, left wing Hickman. Straight away Bolton. Bolton speeds past George. A drifting pass, and Rudy Ooh. Williams might have... What do you think, Mark? If he lets that go, is it BYU basketball? Maybe so, but almost lucky he stepped on the out-of-bounds line because he saved it into Timmy. Would have had a pretty good look at the hoop. I thought it was going to be off of Gonzaga. Rudy chased it down, saved in blindly to Timmy, but he was out-of-bounds to the official, so it's Gonzaga basketball with a nine-second shot clock. Hickman out between the circles, down to five. Hickman into a three. Strong on it. Rebound Strother. Oh, Great board by Strother. Man, he got high for that. <laughs> so high. On the far boundary, Strother to Hickman now in the center circle. 14-second shot clock. 6.20 game clock. BYU by 10. 66-56. Hickman up top to Timmy. Timmy, spin to the middle. Timmy left hand up the window and good. And one. A chance for a three-point play on a 16-point night for Timmy. Cuts the lead to eight. 66-58. to Team foul number seven, and the Zags only with two, so the Zags will be they going put, to the free throw line the rest of the way. Foul on Gideon, that would be four on him. It yeah. is George's fourth. I think Mark Pope might, well, I've been saying it wasn't on Gideon, but. Gonzaga, last lost a January game in 2018, and they've won their last 91 against unranked opponents and BYU coming in unranked tonight. They're going to go to the monitor for something here with 6.16 to play. I think they're going to check on who the foul was on. Might have been on a Tiki. BYU would prefer to have a Tiki with four rather than Gideon. You can't keep Drew Timmy down for long. I mean, you've got a point blank miss. This guy shoots 65%. And uh, I think they are going to say it's on Gideon. So you got two misses from Timmy pretty close, but you're not going to get three in a row, and he gets a foul to top it off. So get him with those four. That was a big shot from Timmy to stop the bleeding for the Zags. That's not something you say often, having the Zags having to stop the bleeding. Can BYU do what other WCC teams have failed to do recently, and that is hold double-digit leads against the Zags, or at least hold them long enough for a win. Timmy for the free throw. Nope. 0 for 2 for Timmy. He stays at 16. The lead stays at 8, 66 to 58. USF led by 14, lost. Santa Clara led by 12, lost against the Zags in the last week. 
BYU led by 10 here in the second half. The lead is 8 now. Rudy Williams gets a step on Strother. Drift pass left corner. Touch pass Noah to Jackson Robinson. Back to Rudy. Open for 3. Pull. Fire. Short. Rebound Strother. 5.52 to go. Zags down 8. 66-58. Strother. Right wing. Terminate. Hand high to Timmy. Timmy. Bounces to the right. Gives there to Hickman. Hickman open for 3. Pull. Fire. And miss. A great rebound. Spencer Johnson slapped it to Fuseni Traore. Noah kept his man off, and Spencer came on the other side, knocked it to Foos. Rudy Williams driving oh. lay-in short. Rebound Zags. Hickman. Breakaway to Bolton. Bolton. Oh, you're kidding me. Out of bounds as Spencer Johnson <laughs> knocks it off his thigh, and it's BYU basketball. Spencer Johnson wow. doing it all over the floor tonight. Looked like an easy layup, and Spencer catches up, knocks it off Gonzaga's leg. Wow. I don't think either call was... I think he fouled him, and it wasn't up to Zaga, but BYU gets it. Zags pressing, 5.20 to go. BYU up 8, 66 to 58. Rudy Try Williams, pass the timeline. Try to give Robinson or Johnson a shot. Rudy's gone over two, last two times down. BYU weaves it. Rudy to Spencer Johnson, driving handoff. Foose, and right up and in for Traore. The assist to Spencer Johnson. Cougs up 10, 68-58. Under five. Three-pointer right side. Knocked down to make it a seven-point game. Strother for three. (laughs) You know Gonzaga's not going away. 68-61. BYU by seven. On the Julian Strother three. His first three of the night. Only their third three of the night. BYU with 12 threes. If BYU wins, it will be on three-point shooting. Rudy, right wing. Noah for three. Strong. Rebound Strother. Foul on Timmy, though. He pushed Triari in the back. Loose ball foul in the fight for the rebound on Drew Timmy. It'll be his second. The Zags have just their third of the second half, and most importantly, it's BYU basketball. Cougs up 7, 68-61. BYU's trailed by 10. BYU's led by 10 in this game. Saunders will check in. Jackson Robinson will check out. Jackson checks out on 16 points. Those 16 points, one off a career high. Night for Waterman. Missed that three badly. Scoreless. Knocked out of bounds. So BYU, but BYU basketball on the sideline. With 4.34 to play. Spencer Johnson, 18. Ties his BYU career high. Sideline send in to Rudy Williams. 20 second shot clock. 4.30 on the game clock. BYU's up 7. 68-61. Noah for three. Heavy on it. Rebound Timmy. Outlet Salas, Hunter Salas, Marriott Center logo right side. Gonzaga right to left from our vantage point. Gonzaga's front court away from us to our left. Strother again for three. This one's off the flange. A slap out rebound to Hickman. And a post feed to Timmy on the left block. Spins on Noah, gets right to the rim and dunks it on him. 18 for Timmy. It's a five-point game. 68-63. 4-0-4 to play. Here they come. Got to get the right guy shooting. You got to get... Spencer Johnson or Foose or Jackson coming in. BYU led by 10 with five minutes to play. BYU an exemplary record in the Pope era when leading in the final five. Rudy to the top of the key. Rudy on a 15-second shot clock to Johnson. Left side. Oh, Rudy straight away. And he and uh, Richie Saunders miscommunicate. And the pass sails right out of bounds. Turnover. That is turnover number 14 for BYU. Turnover is even 14 apiece. Gonzaga basketball when we come back for the final 343. Can BYU hang on to what is now a five-point lead? It's 5 nothing Zags run. It's 68-63 Cougars on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. Let's get you back to the Built Bar courtside seats and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. All right, so we are back at the Marriott Center for the final 3.43 of play. Gonzaga trailing BYU. The Cougs up on the number eight ranked Zag, 68 to 63. Mark, this was the game. I still could get into the 70s, mind you, but we said, you know, 60s and 70s, that's where you want this thing to be. You can't have the Zags scoring their regular average and really expect to have, you know, the best chance you could give yourself that they've now given themselves with this game here in the in the 60s with under four to play. BYU's playing terrific defense in this half. Trouble is they Having to do it a couple times every possession as the Zags have 17 offensive rebounds, keeping them in this game. And BYU's gone a few possessions now. They've gotten looks, have not hit them, and so we're right back in it with Gonzaga. Chance to cut it to three or two. BYU this year, 
11 and 1 when leading with under 5 to play. The one loss was at San Diego State. BYU led 68 67 at the 5 minute mark. Tonight they led 68 58 at the 5 minute mark. Watson, skip past left corner Salas. Salas, post feed Timmy. Timmy from the left block, backs into Foose. No double. No double. Timmy turnaround. Jumper missed, and the rebound to Spencer Johnson. Great defense by Foos. Single team defense for BYU. Gideon George drives to 10 feet. Turnaround jumper. Yes. Ooh, Gideon smooth. George with a Zions bank shot of the game. Oh, for Timmy. the support you need to power forward, Zions bank is for you. And then Timmy at the other end scores and one. Turns a seven point game into a five point game and a chance for to make it four with 3.03 to go. And Timmy now with 20. Timmy just beat everyone down the floor after the made bucket from George and got behind the defense. Just so to hustle. complete the three-point play, but Timmy is 0 for 2 at the line. His team is 6 for 12. Makes the free throw. 21 points for Timmy. He's averaging 21.8. 70 to 66. BYU's lead four, 255 to go. Rudy Williams slow bounce out front. Hands to Jackson Robinson who comes to meet. Takes his place top of the key. Jackson to the right wing. Oh, a difficult pass. Nearly turned over and is. Threw it into traffic. And the Zags come the other way. Hunter Salas at the right junction. His pass is nearly picked off in the paint. It is stolen by Rudy Williams. BYU to front court. Three on two. Rudy right wing Jackson. Jackson baseline drive cut off. Sends it out to Rudy at 30 feet right side. 20 second shot clock. Cougs can be a little judicious here. Get what they want. 2.20 to play. 15-second shot clock. BYU by 4. 70 to 66. Rudy. Hippity hopping to the top of the key. Skip pass left to Gideon. Gideon gets around Timmy. Gideon into the paint. Hand off low to Foose. Foose takes a bump. Goes up with it and misses it short. Rebound Timmy. Outlet Hickman. Hickman front court right. Two minutes to play. BYU by 4. 70 to 66. Slow bounce for Hickman. The Wasatch Academy product. To the free throw line. Pass left corner. Salas, huge three. Got it. Hunter Salas with five. His first three of the game. And it's a one-point game. 145 to go. 70-69. to 69. Gonzaga climbing back in. Timeout BYU in front court. We'll stay right here with it. BYU fans, you can line up every candy bar you can think of and come see why everyone's saying, I'd rather have a built bar. Call it a candy bar. Call it a protein bar. Either way, healthy is tasty, finally. The Zags are never out of it. Three times in three games, they've been on the road facing double-digit deficits. They won the first two, and they're one point away from a tie game with BYU in this one. The Cougs led by 10, under 5 to play, and now it's a one-point game with 142 to play, 70-69. to The Zags have been through the fire again and again, and they always come out seemingly unscathed. Just a weird defensive play as Jackson completely left his man. Sal, he was on him, and then he went to... To help, he really didn't need to to help or even help that much. That left Salas wide open. I mean, he hasn't done much in this game, but you can't leave a guy wide open at that point in the game. And for so he hits the three, and now you're just in a battle here. And through through 36 minutes, the Zags had two threes, and now they've hit two threes here in the final couple where they're trying to come back in this one. I mean, this is their first rodeo, and you had got to get a bucket here. Gideon right in front of us, trigger. Gideon to send in to Rudy Williams. A full shot clock, or at least close to it. Now down to 20 with 138 to play. Cougars in possession with a lead of 1, 70 to 69. Rudy to the right side, Rudy topside. Got Timmy on the switch. Left wing Gideon for three. He yes! got it again! Yes! Gideon George with his fourth three, and the Cougs lead by four. Yes! 73 to 69. By George, I think he's got it. Wow. Oh, man, what a shot. BYU with 13 three-pointers on 24 tries. 54% on the night. Gonzaga just 4 of 15, 27% from three. If the Cougs hang on to win... That will be the difference maker tonight is BYU from deep. BYU 73, Gonzaga 69. 
the Zags were charging back, and Gideon George, who now has 17 points, four threes, gives BYU the four-point cushion. Wow, Gideon. Spencer with three threes. Gideon now with four threes. Jackson Robinson, five threes. Wow. And Rudy Williams with eight assists tonight is one off his career high in that category. Well, this gets really interesting. If BYU can somehow get a stop and secure a rebound, you're going to be under a minute with the with the four point lead. Wow. BYU's out shooting Gonzaga, 48 to 43 percent tonight. 48 to 44. Beg your pardon. And the Zags are only a 500 team this year when they're not out shooting the opposition. Timmy has 21. Well, officially the board has him at 19. I've got him at 21. Either way, it's close to an average game for Timmy. Let's see if they go right back to Timmy and take it strong, try to get a foul. Got to know where Strother is. He's another guy that's been through it all. 122 to go. Ball is in after that full timeout. Hunter Salas races at front court right side. Hickman, oh, nearly turned it over. Spencer was right there, but the ricocheted to Timmy. Timmy back to Hickman. 20-second shot clock. Cougs are probably a couple stops from a win. Hickman, in out from three. And the rebound to the corner. A fight for it. Saved into Johnson, and he's fouled. He is fouled. Team foul number four. And now the Zags have to foul to put BYU to the line. That's only four fouls. And Mark... That is such a huge stop. The clock is in BYU's favor. The foul situation actually, oddly, is in BYU's favor. Because fouls will only stop the clock and not put BYU at the line. See how BYU handles this pressure in backcourt. Oh, and the Cougars turn it over off the inbounds. Watson to Hickman in the corner for three, and he got it. Oh, my goodness. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. Nolan Hickman was scoreless until that time. Under one minute to go now. 56 seconds. BYU beats Preston to front court right side. Gideon George takes a bump, gets right to the rim, missed it. Gets his own rebound, lost it. And the rebound to Watson. Down floor, Strother. BYU by one, 73-72. 40 seconds to play and a full shot clock. BYU turning it over off the inbounds. Gonzaga scored a three in the ensuing action. Now the Zags call timeout with 36.8 to go. BYU may still be a stop away from sealing the deal. But Mark... When Spencer Johnson gets tied up and fouled, they just have to get the ball in, and they turn it over, and then a guy that hasn't made a shot all night, Nolan Hickman, drills the three in the left corner to make it a one-point game. Gideon can't get it to go at the other end, loses the rebound, and now Gonzaga with a chance to take a lead. 36.8 to go, 19-second shot clock. It's BYU 73 and Gonzaga 72. A turnover at the most crucial of times. 16 now on the night for BYU. And that has been a problem for BYU, that full-court pressure. They just, I don't like the fact it, when, when they're bringing it in, they only have two guys that can get the ball. You need to have a release valve. I don't know why they would bring a third. It's basically three on two because the guy guarding the inbounds is guarding one of the two. So it's two. They've got three defenders for two offensive players. And BYU just trying to get the post-up lob in. It was a bad pass and an easy turnover for Gonzaga. If the Cougs can get a stop here, Mark, the shot clock will likely be off. And Gonzaga, by fouling, will need to do so three more times to put BYU at the line. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, whatever happens, you know, even if Gonzaga scores, BYU will have a chance here. But ideally, you want to get a stop, get that rebound, force them to foul you, take care of that basketball. But we've, we've got ourselves an ex- another incredible finish. You know, you look like they might have just had enough to get it done, and now Gonzaga comes right back at them. Chance to go ahead. Gonzaga looking to come back from down double digits in the final five minutes. It's BYU 73. It's Gonzaga 72. It's Gonzaga basketball in front court away from us to our left. Zags go right to left. BYU left to right. Julian Strother handed the ball on the far sideline. Whips it into Nolan Hickman. Hickman, slow bounce to the top, to the left elbow, to the left block. He's cut off. Sends out. He stepped on the end line. He turns it over. And the shot clock is Is off. off. The shot clock is off. Gonzaga turns it over. Nolan Hickman driving to the baseline to a stop. 
skidded to a stop on the boundary. The official right there calls him out of bounds, turnover. And again, the Zags have to foul three more times to put BYU at the free throw line. Can BYU get it in down? Yeah, first of all, try to get it in. Jackson Robinson into Rudy, back to Jax. Jackson in backcourt, and they foul him. That's only number five. Still two more. Problem is they could be super aggressive, not worried about the foul, and they almost got another turnover. And just getting it in right now is the challenge. I just don't know why they don't bring up Spencer or Gideon. Jackson Robinson on the end line to send in. Gets it into Hall. Hall back to Jackson. Jackson to Rudy at the timeline. Rudy into front court. Jumps a pass to Johnson. Back to Rudy down to 15 seconds. They foul him. That's only number six. 17.4 is the time on the clock. The hard part was getting it into forecourt. They've done that. So now look for Gonzaga to foul, and then you got to make free throws. Right. Now the next foul puts BYU at the line. That was team foul six. I think Rudy or Jackson are the guys you want shooting free throws here. You don't want Dallin. Maybe Spencer you do. Spencer Johnson, 74%, one for two tonight. Rudy, 82%, 0 for one tonight. And Foose, Foose comes in for is actually the guy. He's a better free throw shooter. He's 78% one for one tonight. Gideon George to send in right in front of us. BYU by one. 73-72 gets it into Jackson. He's fouled, and he'll get the free throws. Oh. So one and one for Jackson Robinson. Jackson is shooting 78%. And again, he's been money at some really important times this year. At the free throw line, Jackson Robinson goes to the stripe where he is 7 for 9 on the year. This really needs to get the first, and then you can at least defend the three-point line. 15.9 on the clock. 15.9 to go. BYU 73, Gonzaga 72. The Zags have won 91 consecutive games against unranked opponents. Jackson are trailing Robinson. at unranked BYU in the final 16 seconds. Jackson at the line, 1-1. One and one. Shoots, scores. That kid. That kid. Five threes, and he hits the front end. Career high, five threes for Jackson. Gives BYU the two-point lead, 74-72. This one hyper-crucial, 15.9 to go. Bends the knees, shoots, strong on it. Guard the three, guard the three. BYU leading it by two, the rebound to Gonzaga. Strother in front court with 10 seconds, shoots a three, and scores it! Gives the Zags the lead with 9.5. BYU can now play for the win. But the Cougs trail 75-74 to 74 on the Strother 3. The free throw miss by Jackson Robinson opens the door. And the Zags barge through with a triple to now lead it by one, 75-74. Oh, Strother, wow. He, they go underneath the screen thinking they could because he was so far out, but he just raises and hits it anyway. But the Cougs have been here before and come up big in this situation multiple times this year. Down BYU Hall. down five, down one, 75-74, 9.5 to go. 9.8 now. They put .3 back on the clock, so 9.8. The Cougs will have 10 seconds to come up with a game winner to beat the number eight team in the country. They have plenty of time to do a lot of things and... Even if you miss the first, everybody crashed the boards. You see a lot of tip-ins for wins. This Gonzaga team, though, double-digit deficit in the final five minutes, it, and they've come back three to threes lead. There. They hadn't hit but a couple threes for 36 minutes, so now they banged four threes when they needed the most. All right, here we go. 9.8 to go, BYU basketball. BYU on the floor with Rudy Williams, Dallin Hall, Jackson Robinson, Spencer Johnson, Fuseni Traore. Johnson and Foose in front court. Williams, Hall, and Robinson in back court. Jackson will send in 94 feet away. Gonzaga 75, BYU 74. 9.8. The ball handed to Jackson. Robinson in to Rudy. Rudy to the timeline with eight. To Johnson with seven. Spencer with six and with five. With four and three. Spencer with desperation three. It's blocked at the arc, and that will do it. Gonzaga comes back to win it. The final score, 75-74. The Zags survive at the Marriott Center. Post-game recap next here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Back to Mark Durant and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel, for more BYU basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. 
Maritza back here at the Marriott Center where the Cougars almost pulled off one of the biggest upsets in college basketball this year and one of the biggest upsets in BYU basketball history. But Gonzaga, as the Zags have done so many times, both against BYU and this season in the WCC already, finds a way. BYU, which got out to a 10-point lead in the closing minutes. It was BYU 68 and Gonzaga 58 with five minutes to play. And the Zags outscore BYU 17-6 to in the final five minutes to come up with the 75-74 win here at the Marriott Center. Well, I mean, listen, I'm, I'm heartbroken. I'm shocked. I'm sad for the guys. They played a great basketball game, and I kept trying to tell myself, that Gonzaga wasn't going to do what they were, they did, but I've just seen it so many times. And BYU looked like, you know, they, they hit Gideon hits the big shot. They're up four under a minute. They have the ball, can't get it inbounds. They hit the three. I mean, uh, Gonzaga just makes uh, they, they're just not phased by any situation. And BYU's just got to be a little bit more, you know, make better decisions late, especially that pressure. And it bit them again, and it's just, I'm just heartbroken because they just played so well and did everything they, they had to do to win, and to have it finish like that. And the great shot from Strother, but man, it that's hard. That's really hard. I'm, and I'm an old guy that played 30 years ago, and it it hurts me. I can't imagine what's going on in that locker room for those guys. I mean, I just feel just terrible for them. What a what a great effort, and to have it end like that is just almost more you could bear. Through 35 minutes, the Zags had hit two threes. They made four threes in the final five minutes, including the game winner with ten, nine seconds to go. Well, again, you have to make you, – you, you've got to think ahead. you got to think – even if Jack Jackson assume he's going to miss that, so what's one thing you don't let them do? Shoot a three. You know, you, I think, went under the screen. Granted, Strada was, you know, was way out there, but that's what Gonzaga does. And so if you go over the top of that screen, just don't let him shoot that three. At least you go to overtime. And that's just a mistake. And uh, they, you know, Jackson left uh, a, a shooter in the corner. That's a mistake late. And you, you give a turnover that turns into a three. That's a mistake late. And you just can't afford to do it against a team that doesn't really make a lot of mistakes and will make big plays. 75-74, Gonzaga over BYU is our final. We'll come back to courtside for player and coach conversations. Coming up next is Jason Shepard of the Cougar Post Game Live here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.